Hi everybody, my name is Riccardo Lambertini and I work for DMAR and today we will go through the steps to correctly wear an NIV helmet. Basically, inside the helmet box you will find the helmet and two smoothbore circuits. Check the content and unfold the helmet opening it up to its cylindrical shape. Check the connectors and the fixation ring for the unpit belts. Open and close the zip twice to check the functionality and leave it open. The sizes available go from double XS to triple XL. To make the right choice for the size, remember that the ceiling is not granted by the tightness of the membrane around the patient neck, whereas by the contact of the membrane to the patient body. Always allow two finger space between the collar and the patient neck and go for the larger size in case of uncertainty. Together with a colleague, widen the soft membrane at the base of the helmet using four ends. Start from the scruff, check the adherence of the membrane to the patient torso, eliminating possible wrinkles or tissue trapped below the membrane. Pass the belts below the armpits of the patient and fix them in front of the helmet. Adjust them to keep the helmet low on the head of the patient and make the same as firm as possible. Now let's see the connections. We have six connectors, two 22 male and one 22 female per each side. The reason why we have six connectors is to grant you the maximum flexibility accordingly with the possible setting. Two separated limbs. You can choose to connect the inspiratory and the expiratory line left or right side accordingly with your patient position or your layout. There are no differences between connecting right or left the two tubes. Additional filters can be interposed at the helmet size, but they are usually already positioned at the ventilator. Two limbs with a Y piece, coaxial circuit, or two ways expiratory valve. If your ventilator requires a system with a Y piece, coaxial tube, or two ways expiratory valve, you cannot separate the lines. Then connect the circuit to the first or second 22 male connector in case you have an adapter available. If you do not have an adapter available, you can take advantage of the 22 female connector. Right side or left side, it doesn't make any difference. Always verify to have a filter protecting the environment from the expiratory flow of the patient. In this configuration, it is possible you need to increase the ventilator flow to enhance the CO2 washout from inside the helmet. You can do it taking advantage of one of our silicone cap, which left open can generate the leakage of up to 20 liters per minute. Remember that in case of an infected patient, you can protect the surrounding environment interposing a filter. One limb with whisper. Three ways expiratory valve. In case your ventilator works with a single limb with a whisper or a three ways expiratory valve, you can connect the line directly to one of our 22 male connectors if you have an adapter, and if you do not have an adapter, you can connect the line to the 22 female connectors in front of the helm. There are no differences as usual from right, right side or left side. Remember to interpose a filter between the helmet and the expiratory port in case of infected patient. And remember that you can enhance the CO2 washout from inside the helmet, opening an intentional leakage using one of our silicone caps. Once again, interpose a filter to protect the surrounding environment in case of infected patient. Stated that using a single port for the inspiratory and expiratory line might lead to CO2 retention, we have available different custom kits 
with separated whisper and expiratory valves that can put you in the condition to separate the inlet from the outlet. You can take a look to the picture to see the different configuration opportunities. The first 22 male connectors is intended to be fixed to the inspiratory limb. This is the reason why it is equipped with an internal air diffuser. The remaining female connectors are useful for NG2, CVC or to make the patient drink through a straw. Moreover, you can nebulize drugs using dedicated adapters you can see in the picture. Stated that the circuits has to be properly connected and the remaining ports closed with caps, there are no contraindications to invert one or more connections. Synchronization is a basic concept during NIV. For this reason, the helmet is stiffer and smaller in comparison with our CPAP version. Moreover, the rigid plastic ring stabilizes the wall structure and prevents the connectors from moving along the pressure changes. Stated that the helmet has a large internal volume and it's a compliant interface, we have to take into consideration some particular ventilation settings. Use a more sensitive inspiratory trigger than with a mask, just above the auto triggering. Use an higher peep, EPUB, generally the 50% higher than with a mask, and possibly never below 5 or 6 cm of water. Use an higher pressure support level, IPUB approximately the 50% higher than the one we are used to work with when you work with a mask and never below 10 or 12 cm of water. Use a faster pressurization ramp to reduce dissipation during the inflation phase. Consider an anticipated expiratory cycling off. Remember to widen at their max the alarm threshold for the tidal and the minute volume. This because the ventilator will consider and measure also the internal volume of the helmet. Your helmet is now ready for NIV. Adjust the value of pressure support and peep on your ventilator, close the zip and start the ventilation. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to stay in touch.